they're easy if you're holding a baby, pushing a baby stroller, if you're wearing this to a football game, if you're wearing it over a beautiful dress or a suit jacket, a 375464. Let me make sure I have that right. A 375464. This is 100% merino wool. It is a cowl neck poncho. Uh, this is customer top rated. If it's not top rated, it's gotten rave reviews. I was talking to Stephanie, who was nice enough to share her knowledge. She is part of the Irish team here at QVC that makes all of this happen for all of us, which we appreciate. We got you another sale price here. The sale price will save you over $25. You can get this home for $23.94 a month if you're willing to use your credit card, PayPal, or... Um, what is it? Credit card, PayPal, or your debit card. I think that also will work where you make sure you get it. We ship it off to you in the normal shipping and handling time, and then you can work that into your budget. Any shipping and handling, our taxes also split into those equal payments, just so that you know that for future purchases. This will be the only poncho that's available from Aaron Craft at the moment. So with that in mind, we'll look at the four different colorways for you. There is that soft gray. Then that's called black watch. And then here's black. So black watch is more like a stormy sky blue gray. And that's black that you were just looking at. And then stone and last call on stone. These are sized for you double extra small through double extra large and all the sizes in between the length longest part in the back on the double extra small would be 27 and a half inches and that doesn't count the cowl neck that you see there to 29 and a half the extra large would be 30 and a half inches full length in the back to 31 inches for the double extra large all right barry and if you're joining us for the oh. first time this is our dear friend barry cullen uh barry it was your your third generation so it was your great great grandmother Molly, who started? It was, it was my, my grandmother. So uh, grandmother. she started the company in 1957. Uh, that was then continued on by my father, Paul, and my uncle, John Cullen, of course, who uh, are longtime viewers of, of the, the Irish yes. shows on, on QVC. He was, he was a host here for many, many years. Actually, there's a photograph of my grandmother now. So this photograph was actually was taken in 1921 when she had just uh, emigrated to New York. So herself and her sister, like many of her generation, um, they had to emigrate to America to, to earn money to send back to their families. Her sister stayed on for in America for many years, but Molly, always being the enterprising woman that she was, uh, returned to Ireland and tried to, wanted to start up her own knitting business. Um, of course, when she went to, as a, as a woman starting a business on her own, she wanted to borrow money from the bank. And of course, because she was a woman on her own, they said, they wouldn't let her have the money. So her, the money for her first knitting machine was actually sent home from America by her sister who had remained there. So it, it really is the start of this wow. amazing trans, transatlantic relationship between our company and America. Um, and I think she'd be so proud of the way that the company has actually uh, has, has gone definitely. from strength and strength over the last 60 plus years at this stage. It just made me fall in love with Aaron Craft even more, knowing that it's, you know, female power behind there. No offense, Barry, you're included. But really, um, how <laughs> sisters supported each other so beautifully. 100%. Yeah, it's, it's, a, it's a wonderful this story. Uh, this poncho is just absolutely beautiful. Will you describe it a bit? It has a bit Certainly. of a relaxed neckline on it. I think I think there's a couple of features of this that I really like. As you said, the neck there, this this neck, or you call it a cow neck, it will actually sit very kind of relaxed away from your neck. A lot of even though this is 100% merino wool, people don't necessarily want to have something touching their neck. It can be a slightly sensitive area. But as you said, you can actually turn it up like that, and then it almost goes to a relaxed turtleneck, which is like that kind of loose kind of. Um, that kind of relaxed color. And I think it, that is a feature that you don't see on a lot of ponchos, really. But a second feature of this is the ribbed element yes. on the side of it here. Because when you knit these ribs, it's a slightly denser stitch. And really what it does, it actually gives um, a, amount of weight to the to the sweater. What well, increases the amount of wool you need to make it. But what it actually does is, regardless of whether you you feel like, sometimes some people can feel that they're in between sizes a little bit. Even if you get one that's a little bit what would be a size too big for you, mm -hmm. the weight of this wool will actually cause it to drape and actually s sit flatteringly on you regardless of your size. And it's, it's one of the more generous ponchos that we make as well. So it's, it's one of those elements that we always try to do at Iron Crafts is to take the, 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 the traditional stitch and use it to the advantage of the garment to make this structural element. Um, 
again, please don't hang this on a hanger when you get it home. You know, take the time, of find course. a place that's out of direct sunlight to be able to go ahead and make sure that you maintain um, the beauty of this. This is a gorgeous mm -hmm. piece. Another one passed down from generation to generation. Let's remind you of the colors here. The colors in our only poncho that we have from Erin Crafts today start with the soft gray. Jo Barry, a uh, black watch is what color? So black watch is actually, as we were talking earlier on, it's a marl. So what it actually is, it's a combination of navy, uh, one end of navy and one end of almost a bottle green, verging almost going in the teal direction. So it has a little bit of texture to it. It's, it's, it'll be in the dark navy to green, kind of, if you, if you okay. had, to, had to pick a, a, a region for it, yeah. Perfect. And it's then one of those ones that can be difficult to see on camera sometimes. Yes, a little bit, but I think it'll be a nice surprise when you get it home. The traditional black it's a beautiful and color. stone. Barry, we're going to keep you here because we're going to move right along as, you know, I only have no three more minutes and we're only going to be able to celebrate the Rose of Tralee today and tomorrow, both on QVC and